three in five adults in the UK use a smartphone. Consumers have been spoiled by choice and innovation. Our next entrepreneur is hoping to cash in on this success with his new range of touchscreen products. But will they connect with the dragons? Hello, my name is Rajan Jareth, and I'm here to ask for a £75,000 investment for 20% equity into my product, iGlove. In 2009, I had my first touchscreen device, and I realised that a normal pair of gloves don't work. Using my contacts in China and the design crew in the UK that we have, I developed a range of touchscreen material that enables the users to use gloves with a touchscreen device. You can change page, zoom in, twist on any of the fingers. However, with a normal glove, absolutely nothing. In year one, we sold 15,000 units. Uh, we did a total of 60,000 units in year two. In year three, which is the year just gone, we did a total of 80,000 units with a gross profit of £60,000 and a net profit of £45,000. We registered trademark for the actual name in the UK. We also have a patent pending for the technology in the product. With your help and your experience, I believe we could take the product to a lot more retailers in the UK and throughout Europe. Thank you for your time. Is there any further questions? A quietly confident pitch from Rajan Jareth. He wants £75,000 in return for a 20% equity share in his range of touchscreen gloves. A cosy winter investment or a year-round money spinner? Piers Linney is first with the questions. Raj, hi, hi Piers. Piers. So what have you actually invented? So basically, three years ago, um, I went to China and obviously discussed how we can make a normal glove work on a touchscreen device. First thing that came to our minds was heat transfer. So the way we've done it is have a 7% silver composition that allows heat transfer from the user straight to the touchscreen technology. However, the 7% is the reason for the patent, and the reason for that is because it allows the colour of the tips to stay black and tonal on each of the gloves, rather than on, say, one of our competitions, which is bright grey. So, so yours change colour, but it's, it's subtle. It's subtle, yeah. yeah, it's subtle. We've played around with it a lot. It took us about nine months to come up with the exact percentage of the composition to be used in the tips in order to keep it the same colour. I mean, yes, there is cheaper versions of touchscreen gloves out there, but with us, we've got the benefit of having the name, the packaging, and the quality, and I believe that's why our customers really appreciate our product. Technology he can defend, and a brand that's selling. Rajan's confidence in his business is infectious. And this impressive entrepreneur has another trick up his sleeve, a product that allows the user to answer their phone in a completely different way. I would now like to do a demonstration of the Bluetooth. This is in House of Fraser last year. Do I have any volunteers? Sure, I will. OK. So, would you just like to put that on your left hand, please? It has a Bluetooth device built into the cuff. There is a microphone in the pinky and a speaker in the thumb. OK, I'm just going to make the call from outside. OK. Okay to re-enter the den? Yeah, come back in. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting. A fun demonstration. But for the dragons, does that make it a serious business? Raj, 
as fun as it was to answer the phone with a glove, um, where would you actually use that? OK, um, thanks for the question. The House of Fraser buyers, um, when I showed them it, thought it was an idea for ladies pushing um, prams. So they don't want to get the phone out when, obviously, the, the, it's in the handbag. Or when, say, the people on the tube, they don't want to show people in their local area what kind of phone that they've got because of muggings or anything like that. Or even while running, people could, or cycling, people could leave the phone in the backpack and literally cycle with one hand and answer with the other. And uh, do you have other inventions that you think about that you want to do? I mean, is this sort of the end of the road for this brand or you have other ideas? No, no. Um, again, as I said, the Bluetooth is a new product that we've just released this year. Um, and then it's just whatever else I can source. I could do a skiing version of it. This gets down to the nub of the, of the questions that I want to get to, which is how seasonal is this business? Are these seen as Christmas product? In the UK, I would personally say yes, solely because the weather goes cold, they look like good Christmas stocking fillers. However, last year, in the height of our summer, I got an order for, I think it was 4,000 basic eye gloves for someone in Australia. Now, I haven't been to Australia yet, but I don't even know Australia gets cold. So that was quite a nice little boost. With your customer base and your market contacts, hopefully I'll be able to get a continuous cycle of sales. Rajan seems to have an answer for everything. But something is bothering telecommunications expert Peter Jones. What have you got in the terms of the trademark? What is the trademark? The, I, the trademark at the minute is for the actual name, iGlove. Um, it's and in you, Class 25, which covers clothing, footwear, accessories. And, and you got that as a... You, it's granted? It's granted. Yeah. Uh, it was granted about three years ago. Yeah. You do know that what you've got is meaningless? Uh, please advise a bit in more detail. Because if Apple want to stop you tomorrow from calling that the iGlove, it's one lawyer's letter. And you've got no defence. But you can it, show them I've got a trademark three years ago, I've registered it, and they turn around and say, well, we've been using the class of I prior to the names of various products for over 20 years. You need to stop it. And if you don't stop it, we'll sue you. And you'll stop. I have to say I disagree. You can't disagree. It's a, it's a, it's I a... can disagree. It's a democracy. My you father can, fought no, in the war. because you'd be stupid to disagree. No, I wouldn't. You're not stupid because you're a very intelligent entrepreneur. The eyes for internet. I, I, I totally disagree. You can... They cannot challenge your, your use of that if you have registered it. I've got all these certificates, trademark certificates with us, if you'd like to see yeah, them. Yeah, let's see them, yeah. So here's copies of the UK, Europe and Madrid trademarks, um, as well as the pending USA, China and Canadian ones as well. Mm. Raj whether you believe me or whoever, the reality is Apple own the rights to this. They'll let you use it as long as you don't affect them in terms of sales. But I think you've got a problem with the name when this business becomes big. The road you're going down, I think, is fatal. I'm going to politely withdraw from opportunity of investing and say I'm out. One investment deal that Peter Jones won't be shaking hands on. Will the telecom tycoon's damning assessment of Rajan's trademark sour the others from investing? Raj, hi. I mean, you are super, super impressive. You know, you've built up a fantastic business and clearly you have a fantastic product. But I think that, um, you know, just sitting listening to Peter who knows this this world very well. It is a, it's a frightening investment to do when there is a possibility of Apple taking you on. It's not something that I would take the risk investing in, but again, super impressive pitch, but I'm afraid I'm out. You're very good. Uh, it, you've done really well to come up with this product, but I do see going forward, you're going to have complications when you start becoming meaningful, if you start becoming meaningful. The trouble is, once you get under somebody's radar, they have the rights to take all profits generated by your infringement of their rights. They could take all of the cash, going back from day one. <laughs>
So you, that's a huge risk sitting in this business. Um, so for that reason, I won't be investing. And I'm out. So two more dragons, two hung up on the product's name to make an investment. Rajan needs remaining dragons, Piers Linney or Duncan Bannatyne, to be prepared to take the risk. Raj, my issue with it is the longevity of it. So I think that your, your design, your pattern, is one of those where a slight tweak here or there, the, the kind of metal, the amount used, somebody will find a way of doing it where you don't discolour the tips. And as soon as they do that, you don't really have an advantage, so the pattern's not really potentially worth a huge amount. I just don't think it's a business that's going to grow into something where you get a return on 75 grand quickly, so... Not for me. I'm out. Thank you. Um, you you're a super, super um, entrepreneur. You're, you're what the country needs. So, I'm going to make you an offer of the full amount, 75,000. But I want 40% of the equity. He's been the entrepreneur's great defender throughout the pitch. Now, Duncan Bannatyne has put his money where his mouth is. The young entrepreneur has a choice to grasp this only remaining investment lifeline or go it alone. If we hit the targets and you get your equity back, is anything we can do to negotiate it back down to maybe between the 20 and the 40, say even 30%? Did you give us the targets? Um, I can give you them now. Give so us the targets. This year, gross profit of 105,000 and a net of around 80. The following year, gross profit 130 and a net one of 95. And then, and then the following year, gross profit of 200,000 pound and net of 130. Obviously, with you adding more customer base to the product, it, I could double or even triple that. So what you're suggesting is I invest 75,000 pound, I get 40% of the company. If you meet those targets of 80, 95 and 130 net profit, I drop to 30% equity. Mm -hmm. That's the deal. Deal. Yep. Lovely. So Rajan has done it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you. No problem. The entrepreneur has managed to secure an investment okay. from Dragon Duncan Bannatyne. Well, you've got a good deal there, I think. Yeah, you've got a good deal. Well, it was the last dragon, so, you yeah. know. Amazing. What a fantastic experience. And the fact that Duncan's on board, I'm buzzing for the future. Very, very happy. 